Hi, I'm Sierra, and I'll be breaking down some of my favorite music video looks. Goodies 2004, directed by Benny Boone off my album Goodies. This was my first video of my career and it was such a special day. Literally, I filmed this video in full 24 hours. At one point in time, I, someone gave me an energy drink like the last two hours. We had been 22 hours in and I was like, when is the drink gonna kick in? Um, I definitely, I've been a tomboy pretty much all my life in this video. I was tomboy, but I also was kind of pushing myself a little bit with having the fitted swimsuit, softening it up a little bit, but still keeping the attitude with the jeans. And I believe I have on some sneaker boots, which was also my jam. This was a big dream come true because this song was literally, I mean, there was no turning back after that. Back then, my makeup artist, who is still in my career till this day, um, Yolanda, she did my makeup in this video. And we did keep it kind of minimal. It was a little dewy, bronzy. You see the bronze accents on the cheeks and the eyes. You know, we kind of wanted to keep it clean, but with the pop. And in my, with my hair, I had the strawberry blonde color. And that was like still the earlier days of me playing with my hair color. And like, it kind of became a little bit of a signature color for me at that time period, which was really cool too. But it's, this was fun. This is me in my hometown, jamming out with my girls, giving you my all, turning up the lip, giving you that stank face. That was also, I, I could say, a big part of like, my attitude and my confidence, you know, I, I want to be a little bit in your face. It's so funny, we're saying the goodies are staying in the job, but we shaking them goodies in this video. <laughs> the Matrix move came from me just being this little girl, trying everything. And I honestly, watching the Matrix movie as well and seeing how that backspin goes, the performer me was like, I gotta try that. I gotta see if I can do the Matrix in a dance form. And that's where I kind of played with it. And it just became kind of one of my signature dances that still to this day, I, I can still I can still bend it back real low. But you know, I'm just like, okay, when is the day gonna come when my back might crack? You know, <laughs> my knees might, uh, I'm trying to hold on, you know, three babies later, the core gets a little weaker. One Two Step featuring Missy Elliott, 2004, directed by Benny Boom from the album Goodies. This was so much fun. This was automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. This was a special moment for me for so many reasons because, you know, it was always my dream to work with Missy Elliott. And this was actually the first time that she and I got together in person on this set. This was, again, me being tomboy, CC. I love this all black classic look. I still have my swimsuit top going on there. Even in the red look in the streets, I have a swimsuit on underneath the jeans as well. That jacket was a Belfast jacket. I remember that because Belfast actually paid for a little bit of my video. <laughs> but I do remember it also too because of fashion. My gold swimsuit underneath, my jeans were customized. And we were just going off vibing like, you know, a lot of this moment with she and I together was freestyled, which was really cool. You know, jamming out with my dancers in this section. I have my strawberry blonde. I kept it going for video number two. This one I wanted to kind of uh, sassy get up a little bit, I guess you can say, with the straight, the more straight hair. Wanted it to also be a little free and flow with me while I danced, which was important. I loved a little a side part then. Got the nice little flips, kind of like the somewhat like I can't say fair faucet dramatic like flips because it's not that dramatic, but the little flips, you know, and the little round tips on a hair. It was trippy. I was like, I'm dancing next to Missy. Like it was like, what's going on right now? Like. This is trippy. And now Missy's like one of my sisters, like the sweetest soul. One of the dancers, his name was Vic. This was this young guy teaching me how to dance in the skating rink. And we would dance like that in the skating rink. We would we'd be around, you know, people circled up around you while watching you jam out. I said, if I get a chance to do my thing and become successful, I'm gonna put you on in my video. And Vic is jamming out in this video as well, which was so amazing, you know, to me. And I felt so proud of that. We were getting off in that street. We were letting the streets have it. We was, we was one, two stepping in the streets. Like a Boy, 2007, directed by Diane Martell. 
I felt very important. Like I was being very vocal in this song and switching up the roles, like how the double standards that fellas, you know, that we kind of like experience with fellas, like, you know, would you like that? If I like did the same thing that you did, that was my energy. And so I literally also wanted to play with that in fashion. And obviously I was a Tom, I am a tomboy. So I had that attitude and edge, but I really had some fun. Like I got my fake tattoos by Cartoon, who was like a massive tattoo artist back then. I also had the scene where I was dressed very, uh, in my androgynous style, my suit and my hat, also my more softer side, which again, for me, this was a little fresh because I hadn't dressed like this necessarily in a video while dancing with my baby doll dress. And it was fun playing with the magic, like dancing with myself. Actually, I was in Japan and I saw this guy doing the matrix dance and I loved how he broke it down and I got inspired from that. So I switched up my style and how I did the matrix and I held in one spot a little differently than I had done before and where people saw me do it in the goodies video. This was a different way of doing it, but it was really fun. It was black and white, you know, which was kind of a thing like, do you do black and white? Do you do color? But black and white just felt very classic and timeless. It was fun doing my cornrows, my boy look. At that time, you know, in the song I say, I think it's time to switch roles. For this video, it's time for me to switch my hair color. Uh, so I, I have all black hair and I think it just was perfect for the direction of what I was doing. Like it, it allowed me to have more edge. You know, sometimes your hair color can really help you complete your look. And it also went, I think, perfectly with the black and white coloring. The black cut through more. This is my song Ride featuring Ludacris from 2010, directed by Diane Martell. And it's from my album Basic Instinct. This song was really fun because what I wanted to do is I called it a one woman show. You know, typically people would see me in videos with a lot of dancers as support. I wanted to challenge myself and create a routine that went from top to bottom, but with just me. We leveled up to sexy in this video. I worked out really hard for this video. This was the hardest I ever worked out at this stage in my career. It was for me, from a comfort perspective, a different feeling like confidently wearing a swimsuit by itself bare with heels. Like that was like foreign for me to do that at that time. Once I got to try on these looks and like, again, I worked so hard, you know, I was kind of feeling myself a little bit. I was feeling real good. I was like, we gonna try it. I had the wavy textured hair. And then I also had the kind of like blonde, brown, like honey blonde. I was really starting to get into that color at this time. And again, the hairstyle is very like 90s. Vanity Six girl, the toss over. I was really into that look and so, it just felt like the perfect combination to wear it with my swimsuit and fur look. Like also shout out to Marnie the stylist, that's who styled me in this video. As simple as things were, there still was a lot of thought into the detail. Like even being on the actual bull ride simulator with the classic white t-shirt and jeans, like you needed to keep it simple because it was also gonna be a wet look with my wet textured hair as well. So you didn't wanna do too much. Like you wanted it to be classic and to cut through. And I felt like we just really kept fashion a bit minimal, but yet effective in this video. Jump featuring Coast Contra 2022, directed by Dave Myers. My album, I'm so excited about this. This video for me is my favorite video to date. There's 14 licks in this video, which is crazy. Shout out to Colin Carter for executing this vision and my hair and makeup team, Yolanda and Caesar. I had a vision for what I wanted this video to be overall. And I just felt like everyone helped me execute it exactly how I wanted to. One of my favorite scenes is when I have my hair in the braids and the sparks are flying. I did not know what that would look like because we took a hair piece and Dave's team had to like insert these wires with lights on it. And I'm wearing a piece that has like wires in it with braids. So that was crazy doing that. And I'm like, I just trust Dave, he's like the magic maker when it comes to videos. And literally I didn't know what it would look like, but that ended up being one of my favorite scenes with having the sparks fly out. Obviously I wanted to make that thing jump, but I wanted to make it jump in many ways. 
you know, also jumping for my fashion looks, you know, the look with us girls on the cars and the nicknames on the back of the jeans, you know, it was all about color and, you know, being vibrant and some of that like throwback 90s inspiration where you would like put airbrush on your jeans. And I had my gold accessories, my platinum blonde hair, which was really fun too. I loved how we styled my platinum blonde hair in this video. I had it twice in this video actually. I love this look. This is like the ultimate sweatsuit look, you know, with the baby blue on the sweatpants. I put 85, that was the year that I was born. I guess I'll say that. But don't do the math, but like, what, how old I am though. And making 14 looks happen, like we were going so fast in between takes, we didn't even get to have that many takes because we wanted to execute all the looks, but it was so much fun bringing it all together. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Level Up 2018, directed by Paris Goebel. I was also part of the creative with her, and this is off my album, Beauty Marks. This was me doing things independently. I was running my own label for the first time. And talk about leveling up, that was like the mantra that I was living by. To even do that for me was a level up from what I had been doing before. But I flew to New Zealand to make this video happen. I met Paris Goebel for the first time there and she had this incredible vision for choreography. And I actually remember before I took off to New Zealand, she sent it to me in a video and I was like, this routine is a hit. Like the song is a hit to me, but this routine is also a hit. So I was so excited. I literally had like 48 hours to learn the routine. This was so much fun. We actually worked together on the outfits. You know, we kept it classic, classic red shirts with the level up on it and the IMG pants, which was so dimensional with the red, black, the way that it all laid together, like made it really graphic. So when we were moving, it's almost like when you watch Cheer Squad, it's like it really cuts through. I had on my cool cutout cargo pants, but Anna Trevelyan also helped put my look together. And I saw these pants in this bottom online and I was like, I kept my eyes on it. I was like, I want to wear that. I have my classic clear red shades and also the girls too, you see we have on, all have on like our clear colored shades or whatever, just the little things that really made it pop and cut through. Also, we had on our classic Air Force Ones, which I love. I love dancing in my Air Forces. And I also wanted to just do the classic, some up, some down here. We got the all black hair. That's a hairstyle that I just love in general, but it felt right. Like I still was able to have hair moving around while I was dancing, but also like not in my face too much while I was dancing, which was fun. We're jamming out in a museum, like literally no lie, shooting this video from like, 10 p.m. at night to like 6 a.m. in the morning. It was crazy because within a matter of 48 hours, there were so many remakes of this video. And while I believed in it tremendously, it's just been incredible to see how it's a song that keeps on, I call it the gift that keeps on giving. Like, you know, my mission is always to inspire through my music. And I see everyone from like nurses to like little kids in school to, you know, grandmas like jamming out to this record. And for me, you can't buy that. Like that's a special thing. And so I'm so proud of it. Thank you so much, Allure. I hope you enjoy me breaking down my videos and I cannot wait to do it again soon.